Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and a puzzle by one of the great brains of the Sudoku community. Tall Cat has made this puzzle for us. Um, now the testers said that this is very hard <laughs> indeed, so this might be a bit of a longer video. Uh, I do, do not know. What I do know is that when I saw this puzzle it immediately reminded me of, um, of this palindrome thing that Sam Kappelman lines um, introduced us to the other day. So I got the tweet I made about this. I can't remember if I put this in a video the other day. I certainly tweeted about it, but it's something that makes me feel deeply uncomfortable, namely that this, um, this first expression here looks like a palindrome but isn't, and the second expression here is a palindrome. And you can see that Tall Cat, I don't know whether this was the inspiration for this, but we've sort of got these brackets on the left and brackets on the right, which are definitely not palindromic, even though they look like they should be. Um, anyway, we'll have a go at this in just a moment. What did I need to tell you about first? I, I needed to tell you that you've still got a week to send in your solution uh, on Patreon to our monthly competition. Um, so we need an answer by the 20th. We have had an absolute boatload of answers so far. I think something like 1,500 of you have correctly completed it, which is astonishing because I think this month it is slightly harder than last month. Um, now, the other thing is, I haven't had time to do it yet, but I am intending, I, I sh tomorrow I should have a bit more time. So I am going to be attempting um, the, the new Fistamafel logic puzzle, um, which is called something, it's like the John Denver song, it's called something like Slitherlink Take Me Home or something. I can't remember. Um, but it's a touching Slitherlink with country, oh, Country Road. Yes, Country Road was by John Denver. Oh, so I'll probably have to try and work out the, the guitar for that as well. But anyway, um, if I get a chance, I will have a go at that. And if I can solve it, I'll put that video on Patreon in the next day or two. So so check out that if you're a patron of the channel and if you like watching me try and solve Fistimafel puzzles. Um, now, this puzzle is called Critical Mass. I have no idea why. Um, but the rules are as follows. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply between lines, so cells along lines between two filled circles uh, must have values strictly between those in the circles. So I think what that's saying is that these two cells here have to contain boundaries, if you like, for these digits in the middle. So if we make these digits, oops, two, oh, why am I using two when there's a two in the column? Let's make these cells three, six, and eight then these cells, these have to be between the numbers we put in the circles. So one of these circles would have to be a low digit lower than three, and one of them would have to be a higher digit than any of these numbers, so it would have to be a nine. So we could, for example, put one and nine in there, and that would be a legitimate way of filling the between lines, or the circles and the line between them. And then we've got Renban in the pink line, so pink lines must contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So let's look at this line. Um, let's imagine that we had a one here. Then we would know this line had to contain consecutive digits. So it must contain one, two, three, four, and five. And they can be in any arrangement we like, provided we don't break the rules of Sudoku. Um, so do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. And I can only spot two things instantly here. The first thing I can spot is that a five cell Remban line and these brackets here um, are both five cells large must have a five on it. And that's because if you imagine you lined up the digits one to nine in front of you and you tried to slice a consecutive set of five digits from anywhere along that line of digits, you would always pick up a five no matter how you did it. So we know there's a five in one of these and that, okay, well that means none of those cells is a five. I can tell you that because, because there's a five somewhere along this line, wherever that five goes, it will see all three of those cells look. So that's a little bit interesting, but I don't really want to pencil mark fives um, across these boxes because that will be confusing. So we'll just try and remember that. Um, now, the other thing I know about between lines in particular is that you can never put a one or a nine on the line, because obviously if you try and put a one here, this one of the circles will have to contain a lower digit than one, and you can't put zero into a Sudoku puzzle, even if the software allows you to do it. 
So that means that the one and nine in the, this box, this box, this box and this box have to be off the line, which is distinctly underwhelming, isn't it? Um, right, goodness me. So what is it we're meant to work out here? We've got a very cute collection of given digits, one, two, and three, and very symmetrically disposed. In fact, the whole puzzle is very symmetrical. So we can't put one and nine here. Um, I'd love to know whether you could put one and, well, whether that means you've got to put one and or not, well, you can't put one and nine on this one, but if you had to have an extreme digit on the bracket or the inner bracket, that would be very important to know. So if you did have an extreme digit, you'd have one, two, three, four, five on the bracket. And that would see, they would all see those cells. So these cells would have to be six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm not seeing a problem with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The one would have to be on here. So you couldn't put one. Oh, maybe that's it, right? Maybe it's not to do with the. So if, right. What one thing to note. Yes, okay. You, you can't put one or nine in those cells, these sort of extreme cells of the bracket, can you? Because if you did, you now can't put one at all in box four. That's so weird because because it can't go on its own Renban or it would be not a consecutive non-repeating sequence. It would have a repeat in it. By Sudoku, you can't put it there and you can't put it on the between line. So that means that That means that if there is a one or nine on the re on, on the Renban strip, it has to be it has to be looking at the circles. And that means you can't, so if you can't put one on the line, then you can't put two on the between line. Oh my goodness me, right, this is really clever. This is really clever, good grief. Wow. Okay, right, I have a deduction for you. And this is really quite beautiful. This is beautiful. Right, goodness me. It's not easy, though. Um, so I've just worked out that you can't have a 1 or a 9 at the sort of tip, or either of the tips of this bracket. Now, that means if there were, was an extreme digit on the bracket, it would have to be in one of these cells. So let's just imagine there is a 1 in one of these three cells. Now we now know that the bracket overall contains one, two, three, four, and five because it contains a consecutive sequence. But we know the one on that sequence is in one of these three cells. Now these three cells now see the entire bracket. So they cannot be one, two, three, four, and five, and they need to be six, seven, eight, and nine. But now look what happens. This is really quite stunning. You can't now put one in either circle. So the thing to think about there is what does that mean for two and the line? So can we now put two on the line? Now, actually, in this case, we can't put two on the line, but imagine this two wasn't there because it doesn't need to be. You can't put two on the line because you can't put one in a circle. So where does two go in box four? Well, you'd have to put two in this string of digits as well. But the moment you do that, you can't put two in a circle. So where's three going in box four now? Well, in particular, it's not going on the line anymore because you can't put one or two in the circle. So three has to now go in this string of digits. 
but we can just keep going. And this is where we're finally going to hit the problem by sort of iterative. It's recursive and iterative. So now, now we can't put four here because we can't put one, two or three in the circles. So four has to join its friends one, two and three in these three cells. And we can't have Schrodinger cells. You can't simultaneously make one cell of this puzzle two digits. So it's not correct. And that logic is absolutely going to work the same way if we switch it around the other way and try and put nines in. If, if, if there's a nine on this bracket, it has to be in one of those three. This bracket will be nine, eight, seven, six, five. You'll have to put ones, twos, threes and fours in here. And because you can't put nine in here, you can't put eight in here. And you're going to shove eight onto the line, seven onto the line, six onto the line, break. So that is telling us now that in box four, and presumably in box six, because they're identical geometrically, you can't put extreme digits in these three squares and you can't put extreme digits in these three squares. So you've got to have ones and nines in those string of digits. And you, right, I see. And you can't have one and nine together on a three cell Remban. That would be silly. Um, so this is a one or a nine and this is a one or a nine. Oh, actually, maybe I should keep the... I'm, I'm going to keep the corner pencil marks because I need to... I need to record the fact that whatever this digit is, its counterpart needs to go up here. Or may, well, maybe you, you see what I mean. Um, right, so now my temptation is to look at these circles. I don't know if that's what I meant to do, but now the fact that neither that none of these cells let me just highlight them can be one or nine must surely put some sort of pressure on um, uh, how does this work so if you can't put one or nine here the maximum <laughs> the maximum these could be apart is two and eight so these digits have to be from three four five six and seven which is a good lift level of pencil marking. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So now, now I'm wondering about this three cell Renban, uh, which can't take three of these digits, can it? So what we can't do now, for example, is put three, four, five on this Renban, because if we did, we'd only have six and seven to choose for these cells. You can't put one on it, so can you put two, three, four on it? That's the thing I'm wondering about. If you put two, three, four on it, does that work? Then this would have to be five, six, seven. This would have to be eight, nine, six, seven. No, that, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, goodness me. Right, no, this doesn't work either. It would have been easier for me to see this quickly if I'd actually pencil marked these digits in. But 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 this doesn't work because if, if you try and make this two, three, four, then this becomes five, six, seven. And one of these blue circles has to be lower than a five, six, or seven. Well, lower lower than five, in fact. And that means it needs to be a one, two, three, or four. Well, it can't be a two, three, or four. And neither of these can be a one because of the work we did in columns three and seven. So that's not right. Now that means that we're gonna actually, these three digits here are gonna have to be high because once they're not two, three, four, they can't be three, four, five, they can't be four, five, six, and they can't be five, six, seven because that's gonna break these three cells. So they are at least six, seven, eight. So they're either six, seven, eight, or the seven, eight, nine, and there's definitely a seven, eight in them. Um, oh, but it's symmetrical. Oh, for goodness sake! Right, I see. It's symmetrical, so that can't be six, seven, eight, because then the logic's going to work exactly the same way, but on the high digits. Because now this becomes three, four, five. Now one of these circles has to be bigger than five. It can't be six, seven or eight, so it needs to be nine and neither of them can be nine because of columns three and seven again. This is so clever. So now, 
Right, hang on, now I've lost my pencil mark. So this was three, four, five, six, or seven. This now can only be seven, eight, nine, which means there's no seven down here. Right, oh, right. So now, now you can't have six on this line because if you did, one of those needs to be higher than six and they can't be. So that is now a three, four, five, triple. One of these must be a six and neither of them can be a one. So this is a two, six pair framing three, four, five on the line and putting a two, six pair at the top of the grid. Good grief. Okay, tall cat, I can stop. I can, we can just stop now and bow, you know, bow before you. This is mad, absolutely mad. And I've not even, I've not even looked at this one yet. Although this one's probably not as good because I've got no Ren band line. Um, let me just think about whether I can do anything more at the top. No, is the answer, I think. I mean, I can see, obviously, you know, there's something going on with twos and sixes, but until I know which way round these go, I'm not sure I can do much more. All right, let's have a look at this one. So this one, no, this one is not as good, is it? Um, although two can't go on this line, can it? Because if I put two on the line, I've got to put one in a circle where it definitely can't go. So two is in one of those three cells in box eight, which means two is in one of these three cells in box nine. Oh yeah, okay, it's this, oh, this is so ridiculous. Right, so now, What's locked out of the blue cells down here? It's one and two now. <laughs> so now I can't put three on this line because if I put three on the line, I need a one or a two in one of those circles. So there's a three in one of those circles, which means there's a three over here. Um, so now, now these digits here can't be one, two or three. So there are a minimum of four. Yeah, this is a four eight pair because they can't be nine. Yeah, so now we have to think about what goes on the line. We know that the digits on the line have to be higher than four. So our choices are the digits five, six, seven and eight. But if we put an eight on the line, I need nine in a circle, which I can't have. So I must not have an eight on the line. So it must be five, six, seven framed by four, eight, I think. How can just a few lines in a nine by nine grid exhibit this sort of beauty? It is amazing where Sudoku has gone. It is amazing. Um, Okay, so what does this mean? Don't know yet, I don't think. I don't even think we've wrung all the logic that we could out of these yet. Although I'm not, the problem is I'm not seeing what I can do here. Ah, yeah, there's a small point. Right, let's come back to the, the bracket, the bracketed Ren ban, which now, because the one and the nine are in these three cells, you can't put one or nine on the Ren ban at all. So when we were lining up our digits against the wall from one to nine, let's imagine that the one and the nine are no longer there. So we've now got a set of digits two to eight, and we have to select five digits from two to eight, which means that now, not only must we have five in that collection, we must have four and six. Um, so that means uh, the problem with that is that I don't really. Oh, right, five, look, 
can't five can't go in the ends anymore. Neither end can have a five in. So I must have a five there. And the same must be true by symmetry on this side. Again, we've got quite a lot of symmetry going on. It's after yesterday's mad puzzle, the 69 puzzle, where the symmetry was absolute. We've got a similar thing going on here today. So we've got to have five in these cells. So five, oh, five can't go in a circle, but I wasn't really thinking it would be able to. And these have, each line has got to have four and six on it. Oh yeah, okay. And whatever this is, let's imagine that's a nine. There'll be a one on this line. So this line will be one, two, or three. And if that's a one, this will be nine, eight, seven. So I bet you those have to be different. Is that forced actually? Can you make both of those one, for example? Then you'd have to have nine, eight, seven on both of those. Uh, no, no, okay, well that would give you a seven, eight pair here. And the alternative would be a two, three pair there, which looks like it might be possible actually. Ooh, here's a small point I've just noticed. Oh, uh, sorry, let me get rid of my one and nine shenanigans here. That cell there can't be a two because it would see both a one and a three as its consecutive digit on the Ren band. And the reason I think that's interesting is now my two is locked into the same columns as my two in column, well, in box two. So that means if we come down column five and ask whether two must live, it must live in one of those three cells, two of which are on Ren bands. So is there a reason one of these cells can't be a one or three pair? No, okay, sorry. Um, uh, right. Um, what do we look at next? Oh, okay. Look at look along row two. I need ones, threes, fours, and fives to complete this row, but neither of those can be fives. So we've got fives in the extraneous positions, or the extreme positions. Extreme more than extraneous. Um, Okay, yeah, so whichever one of these fives is real, I don't know which one is real, but one of these will be a five. And whichever side it's on, look, because we've got this five, six, seven here, you're going to end up with a five in one of those two cells. So one of those two cells is a five in the puzzle, which is a little bit interesting, to me at least. Um... Okay, <laughs> what do we do now? Um, uh, oh, right, 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 hang on. So five, there's something else going on with fives I've just noticed. Yeah, where does five go in column three? Well, it could be here, that's true. But if it's not here, it can't be there. It can't be in these strings of digits because this is a one, and a nine, and then some very low or very high digits on the Ren band. Can't be there, there's a five there. So there might be a five here. So there is something going on with fives. Well, yeah, there's an X wing on fives in these two, in these positions. And then however that gets resolved, it's gonna affect fives in those two positions. Okay. Um... I tell you the other thing I'm finding it difficult to do is I'm looking at these bracketed shapes and for some reason I keep seeing this one as a between line and this one as a Remban line and I know that they're obviously not those things but because they look so similar and they're so similar, similarly placed I'm finding it quite hard to see them as clearly as I should be able to. 
if that was a three, this would be, this couldn't be a two, this would be a four. Three, four would make this a five. Three here. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Where does three go in box six? I'm going to ask that question because I think that is interesting. So, well, I think the, the only interesting question about it is does it go on this Remban? And the answer is no, because if it goes on the Remban, it must be accompanied by a one, and that makes this a two, which it can't be because of the two positions in the central column. So that means three is on the line, which means which ah which means ah right ah ah right this is huge this is absolutely huge because now where does three go in this box it can't repeat on its own Renban line so it's not there so it must be here and that's one of my orange cells so not only do I get to get rid of three from these two cells but now this must be the five in column seven and if that's the five in column seven that's the five in column three which means this is not a five which means the five in this row has to be over here and now yeah now that's a five as well yes oh so I see I could have done the same logic down here on the fives I just didn't complete it but there was sort of a five thing going on in those cells as well so okay so now I think we can we've got rid of all of our our orange if, orange Orangefica orangeification um, that's not going to give us any more joy so three is in one of those two cells this has a three on it So that means this Renban, which we didn't know before, we didn't know that before. We knew that we knew that Renban had four, five, and six on it, but not three. So now it's either can't have a one on it. So it's either two, three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, six, seven. There's no eight on it anymore. There's no eight in any of these cells. Oh, but there could be an eight here. You rotten thing. Would actually be a lot more well it'd be interesting either way if there's an eight on this Remban we know it's eight nine and we know this was a one if there isn't an eight then we know the eight's there and we know one of those is a nine um, it's very odd at this it's very odd that between lines I don't really know how to use them apart from you know, the initial thing about the ones and nines. I mean, can I say with certainty there is any digit on this, on that line? I mean, I probably can, but I'm not immediately seeing how to do that. So this digit, do we know what this digit is? At least, yeah, at least by Sudoku, this digit is limited. This digit can be two. It can be two. It can't be three. It can be four, I think. It can't be five, six, or seven, and can't be nine. So it could be two, four, or eight. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, yeah, okay, it's not eight, because three, three is on the line now, so it's not eight. So this is two or four only. Ah, oh, ah, I was just thinking, oh, that's really good because it must be the low side of its between line, but it's not on a between line. It's only on a Renban line. You rotten, rotten, rotten thing. Um, right, OK, I'm going to do the same here because I've got my three, four, five triple and it's got I've got my one nine looking at it. So this uh, this square could be two as well, not three, not four, not five. Maybe six, maybe seven actually. Can't be eight because there's a three on the line. So this is two, six or seven. Two, 
two, three, four, five, six. Right, so that's not a two. That I can tell you. That is not a two. Because if it's a two, what on earth do we put into this square? And we, we've got a six here, so it can't be six. And it can't be seven because seven is too many digits away. Two, three, four, five, six is, is, is as far away as we can get. So we can't get to seven if there's a two on the line. So that means this is, has to be a four. Uh, which uh, is, well, it's still a digit I'm very happy to accept. Oh, yeah, yeah, that gives me an 8 here and a 4 here, actually. So now there's an 8 down there. And, and indeed, a 4 down here. So now there's an 8 in one of those three cells. I'm sure this does something. Hang on a moment while I work out what. Um, so I've got three, four, five now. And we can... I don't know. Do I know what this digit is? I don't think I do. I keep trying to look at this as a between line and I want this to be, I want this digit to be as far away from four as possible. Um, uh, okay, all right. That cell is not a two. I can tell you that for nothing. And that's for a weird reason. If this is a two, two in the box has to go on the between line because it can't repeat on its ren band and it can't go in those cells. And it two cannot go on this ren on this on this between line. Because if it did does, you can't put a two in box nine anymore. Because if there's a two on here, that's not going to be two, because it's it's got to be lower than two. It's got to be a one. And that can't be a, a 2 because it would be seen by Sudoku. So that's right, I think. That's not a 2. So this is not a 2. So this is a 6 or a 7. Does that... No. Okay, so the 2 can still go down here, though. So whatever this is, is on the line. So if this is six, there's a six on the line. But that's not even difficult to frame. If it's seven, it's slightly harder to frame. We need an eight or a nine on the line. I think there's something I'm missing here, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about this. But I'm not quite getting to grips with this. As, I'd, as much as I'd like. Let's have a look at the top row. We need four sevens, eights, and nines. So I'm actually going to go to full pencil mark mode. On the page. Oh, let's see, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> that really is unfortunate. You don't, you don't get anything from that. Okay. All right. This is this is a challenging puzzle. This really is difficult. I'm not sure I'm going to get the same joy looking at these squares. The reason I looked at this is I've got a three on the line. But this one... Okay, let's have a look at this cell. It does at least see quite a lot of digits through a medium of madnesses. It's got five, six, seven there, two, four there, and one, nine. So it actually, okay, that sees seven digits, doesn't it? That's a three or an eight. Sorry, I hadn't appreciated this. Um, let me just double check that. It sees one, nine, two, four, five, six, seven, and it can't be nine. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it does. So that's three or eight. It's not a between line. No, it's not a between line, Simon. Um Right, come on, have some inspiration. 
So if this was an eight, I would have to put eight on, because eight couldn't repeat on the rem band and eight couldn't go in those squares, I'd have to put eight on the between line, which would mean I'd have to put nine in a circle. But the weird thing is, I don't think there's any problem actually with putting ones and nines in these circles. It's almost likely. There's, some, there's something about the geometry here I'm just not understanding. Yeah, okay, four has to go on that between line, doesn't it? Because it can't repeat on the rem band, and by Sudoku it's there. So there is a four in what, so that's not a four. Okay, not a four, I don't know what I just took out of there. I wanted to get rid of four. Um, so four can't be here. Four is in one of those two cells. Four is on the between line, so there must be a one, two. Oh, and you can't put three, look, in either of these circles. That's a little bit interesting. So one of these circles has to be a one or a two to frame the four. And yeah, oh, no, no, hang on. Eight, where does eight go in this box? Eight can't go there. Because of this 8, an 8 can't go on the line because the line has a 3 on it. This is crucial. So 8 goes on the between line, which means one of these squares is a 9. Aha! So this, right, so th these squares are from 1, 2 and 9. Because, because I've got to frame the 4 and I can't use 3. And I've got to frame the 8, so I need to use 9. So these are only, these have only got the options of 1, 2 and 9. That feels like it should matter. Um, why? Why does that matter? I've got a feeling that's going to give me some sort of triple or something, either in this box or this column. I mean, obviously, if I, if I knew this digit was a 1, then I'd have a 2-9 pair. Oh dear, okay. <sighs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm s I know that I should be able to do better than this, but I can't see how to do it. All right, but uh, it is fascinating, isn't it? It's absolutely fascinating. Right, this is our last chance saloon, I think. This digit needs to be a lot more constrained than I'm giving it credit for. Can't be three, four, five, can't be one, nine. So its options are two. Uh, six, seven, eight. Gosh. Um, that's not what we were hoping for, is it? Now, is there anything there that we can actually get rid of? Yes, I can get rid of 8, actually. I can get rid of 8, because if this is 8, that immediately becomes 3, and you can't put 8 and 3 on a 5-cell REM band. They're too far apart. Now I'm getting. Now I'm going to make myself check that, but I'm sure that's right. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, it's, it's right. So, th so that's not 8. So this is 2, 6, or 7 now. Oh. So if I could get rid of 7, I'd have a 2, 6 pair. So why can't this be 7? Oh, there's almost something going on with eights here as well, you know. Is that right? Yeah. Because I'm just... Is if I, if I try and put 8 on the line in box 4, then that becomes a 3, and that's impossible. So 8, eight is now... Right, 
There you go. There's a small deduction. So 8 is not on this bracket anymore. So now this bracket is 76543 or 65432. Oh no, that can be an 8. What am I talking about? That can... No, I'm talking nonsense. Sorry. I've forgotten this can be an 8, which is ridiculous because it's actually got an 8 in the... In the in the cell. Yeah, I mean it's true to say you can't put 8 here in the in in box 4, but that doesn't mean this itself cannot be 8. If this was an 8, that couldn't be a 2. Yeah, oh, hmm, okay. 8 in this row is a little bit interesting because I've got I've I seem to be able to rule it out of this square because of this 4 8 pair. Uh, so that's not 8. So it looks to me as though 8 can only go in those two cells. Which means 8's not in those cells. Oh, good grief. Right, so that's weird. Why does that work? Oh, I see. It's just Sudoku. That's an 8 in box 3. Okay, fair enough. I can't complain about that. That was gettable. So 8 is in this domino. Ah, right. So now I'm going to repeat the logic we did over here with twos. How can this be eight? Yeah, yeah, it is beautiful. Good grief. How do you discover stuff like this? I have no idea. If this is eight, now where do I put eight in box four? And the answer is I can't repeat it on the Remban. I can't include it in those cells, so I have to put it on the line. But now I can't put an eight in either of those two cells anymore. Because if I've got an eight in one of these three cells, obviously it rules itself out of the circle. And it can't be an eight by Sudoku there. So that does not work at all. So this is not an eight, and it's only got one more option, which is three. And that's huge, because now I have got rid of eight from this Remban. Yeah, so now can't I just do that logic again? Well, there's all sorts of things going on now because now there's a three on this Remban. Where does the four go? The four must go in one of those cells. And now that cell's not a four. And that's not a four, which means four in the top row has to be here, which means I've now got a one three pair here, which means that seems to have to be a four. Oh, I could have got from I could have got that by Sudoku as well. I'm making this difficult for myself. Um, I hope you'll forgive me. I don't think this is that easy a puzzle, to be honest. A, uh, the relationships between these lines is very interesting, but it's not at all obvious. But I, what I wanted to think about here was eight now, because now I can't, I don't think it's legitimate. for me to have eight on this line. I think it breaks this box and this box, doesn't it? For the reasons we've already talked about. If you put eight here, the, the high digit on this line must be a nine, not an eight. And you can't put eight into either of those cells. So eight absolutely bamboozles itself in those this box and this box. So if eight is not on the Remban, it's not because we've got a three on it and it's not on the line, eight is in one of these cells. And now we know this is a one, eight, nine triple. And that must be huge because now we know that must be the eight nine pair and this has become a one and that's a seven wow wow and forgive me if i found if i sound just lost for words because this is so ridiculous um so now three four five so this could still be two couldn't it So has this actually, has this explained the nature of the world to us? Um, quite possibly. <laughs> but 
but I don't know how. This, oh, that's nearly very good. In this column, I've got two, six, and seven into that square, but it sees two, so that's just six or seven. Okay. So, what does this mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Um, I, I don't know. I still don't think. Oh, oh, no. I can use this. I can use my given two now. That's a two, four, five, triple. I don't know. That's, that's. Yeah, that's only just become apparent actually because it's only I, that's only a legitimate deduction once you know this is a one eight nine triple. But if this is two four five, that can't be another two on the ren ban. So that's a six or a seven, and it must now be it must be a six because it can't be a seven because we've got a two on the ren ban. So that's a six, that's a two, that's a six, that's a seven, that's a nine, that's a seven. Oh, this is getting exciting now. So this is an 8-9 pair, I want to say. And that means this is not 9. This is a 1 or a 2. Um, so these squares now are known because we've got 4 and 7 on the rem band. So they're 3, 5 and 6. Yes, and oh look, yeah, yeah, look at this column. This is 1, 2 and 9. So it must be the 1 and 2 on the lower rem band. So the 9 must live on its own. So these were different. I couldn't prove that before, but they are different. So this is a 3. So that's no longer a 3. That's no longer a 3. This is no longer a 3. Let's tidy up some of this pencil mark uh, malarkey. And now, presumably, I can write the digits in here, which are 3, 6, and 7, which means that's a 1, that's a 3. This, this digit has to be the low digit because this is a high bound. This is bounding the 6 to the 7 here, I suppose. It's bounding the 7. It could be 8 or 9. So we need something lower than 3 here, and it can't be 2. So that's got to be 1, which makes this 8, which makes this 8, and makes this 9. And that seems quite beautiful. That's a 7 by Sudoku. So there's a 7 over here, which... Yeah, we know it's here because actually if we look look at this box now, we know those squares have got to be 4, 7 and 8. So we, know, ah, so we need to bound it with a 9, which must be here. Wow, wow. So that digit's known. That's a 2 just to complete this row, which makes that a 2 and that a 1, which makes this a 1 by Sudoku and this a 6. So these squares need a 6 in them. So that's 6 and that's 9. I think we are going to finish this, you know. I'm sorry if I sound quite surprised, but I am actually. This was this felt very difficult to me. Um, nine here gives me a nine here, and then eight here, so that's no longer eight. Or oh, that's a four, in fact, because it sees seven as well. So this is a seven-eight pair. This is no longer a four, and. We can keep going with some stuff along the bottom, maybe four, eight, and nine into those cells. And one, two, and three into that, and that can't be one or two. This is a three, aha. So that's a four, that's lovely. We can do some more pencil marking, tidying up. Get rid of those, three and four here means this is a five, that's a four, that's a three. That's not three, that's not three. Let's get rid of the two pencil marks. Three, four, five. So this isn't five anymore. So this is six or seven. Uh, okay, this must be resolvable somehow. Let me just stare at this for a second or two. Um, 
I think we have done the hard stuff now, haven't we? So we should be able to finish this from here. Famous last words. Yeah, I've got a one here. So that's a one, that's a two. So that's not a two anymore. Oh, yeah. One is Sudokuable in box five, which means one goes there, two goes there, two goes there, six goes here. So that's no longer a six. which I'm sure does something helpful, he says. I've got these two, right, it's going to be all about these two little rem bands in the middle box. Oh yeah, look, 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 you can't put two on them. You can't put two on them anymore because the one and the three are not available to join them. So the two goes in the middle of the grid. So that's not two, so this is now two, which means this is from three, five, and six, and it sees three and five. So that's six on the rem band, which can't join seven. So that should be five, five, four. Um, which must be important somehow. It looks like this is going to be eight and nine. Yeah, the other digit is four, which is not consecutive. So that's four. This is eight, nine. The nine here tells us the order nine, eight. So that's nine. That's eight. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. This is six, seven, five. And all we've got left to do is tidy up this the sideways stuff. This is a three. That's a five. Uh, that's a seven. So this is a three. This is a six. That's a seven and that's an eight. And I think we've done it. Yay! Oh, what a brilliant puzzle. What a brilliant, brilliant puzzle. The logic in that was so original to me. It's just gorgeous. I must have, I'd love to know how this sort of thing gets set. Toolcat, you haven't done us a setting video, I think. You might want to, well, if, if you if you have the interest in it, I would love to watch a video on how you made this because this is just, to me, this is sublime and it's, it's awesomely clever. Absolutely loved it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Um, I do enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. Don't give me too hard a time for taking my time to solve this. I think that was reasonably challenging. Um, and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.